Hey guys, get ready with me for my mock results day at school. I'm literally so cold, so we're dealing with the jacket, okay? No, I actually can't be bloody bothered. Everything is going wrong. Like my contact lens on this side feels like it's folding like inside out in my eye. And then my hair, what is my hair actually doing? I can't be bothered. I've already got some of my results from like my mocks, but like for some reason they won't give me back my maths tests. Like, hello, why are we gatekeeping? Um, it's kind of my test. Contour is literally like my new favourite step. I absolutely love to do it. I really need to get a haircut because it's just getting like way too long. Like, I just can't, just can't cope with it. Literally the only thing getting me through school. Love it. Okay, no, I actually can't. This contact lens is coming out. Okay, turns out the other one I put in had a rip in it, so. I want it to snow so so much okay i turned on the light because i could not see what i was doing what oh no okay now that is actually so frustrating i'm so upset but okay okay i'm gonna do my mascara and i'll be back okay i'm already guys wish me luck i'm actually terrified but whatever get on ready with me while i tell you why i absolutely love 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 being in a big girlfriend group I know that's a lot to take in at once, but I hope this, like, showed everyone why my reasoning on everything is. And I probably will have to do a part two. Hey guys, get ready to move school. I don't really know what happened with my voice there, but I'm actually so tired. It's currently 7.25, and normally we leave at 8, but we're leaving at 7.45 today. Okay, so I've got 20 minutes. So, um my makeup get dressed and do my hair like i said i'm not doing makeup this week because yeah so i'm just gonna be doing skincare today and to be fair i don't even know why i'm not wearing makeup just me and my friend said that we would we were just talking we were like oh, you know what next week it's not gonna wear makeup so yeah and also it's better because i take so long in the morning without even realizing like i think that i take quick but i actually don't and i need to stop being late so I'm just going to have a break from being late and then next week I'll go back to do my makeup. I really miss going like this with my nails because, like, oh, I just wish I could have my nails back, but I can't because of school. Okay, and then I'm going to go in my Nivea Soft Cream. I feel like this is running out a little bit, but I could always get some more.
Right, okay, and then the only makeup that I'm going to be doing is my lashes. So I'm just going to curl, curl them. Then I'm going to go in with this Sky High mascara because I actually love this mascara so much. It's just, it's so good. That just went all in my desk. <gasps> and I just missed the tube and it went on my finger. Okay, I'm just going to put a bit of gloss on and all of that just took me like, I think, nine minutes, which is actually still quite a lot. I was going to be like, yeah, all of that literally took me like five minutes. But no, I'm just, I'm just really slow. But it's fine. Oh, nine minutes is better than what I was before. Okay, right, and that's me done. Thanks for watching. Bye. Ready with me for school. Okay, so I got a haircut yesterday. I don't even know if you can tell, but I got layers like in the front and then in the back i also got layers i honestly love it but i feel like i wish i would have gotten more off because i feel like you can't even tell that i got a haircut literally had the worst sleep ever last night so i'm so tired today I went to bed at like 11 but i didn't actually go to sleep until like 1 and i woke up at 6 so yeah i also have a history exam today so that's just super fun i tried to study for it but yesterday just wasn't those days where like the information went into my head i feel like history is that one class where i literally do awful in like it's my definitely my worst class not really looking forward to having a whole exam okay also why is life so bad right now like i don't know what it is about life right now but life just isn't like it like it's probably just a combination between the cold weather and then exam season but like life is just so bad okay i shouldn't say life is bad because it's not bad it's just like boring you know i want to use contour so bad but i think that's what's making me break out along my hairline so i'm just gonna put the contour down it's a sad day because i literally look so pale anyways i feel so like preppy with this shirt today i haven't worn it since i got it which i don't know why because it's such a cute shirt but i feel like it's like too preppy i don't know maybe i'm just being dramatic but like it's cute so i'm gonna wear it and it was also really expensive okay i definitely put way too much blush on but we're just gonna blend it out and hope for the best oh crap i look like a tomato i'm honestly just hoping this blush will fade during the day because it's kind of looking like a lot right now Honestly, I don't really understand the whole thing with, like, loose powders because I feel like I like my pressed powder so much better, but I got this, so I feel like now I need to use it. I feel so pale right now. Okay, I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of contour. A tiny bit. Okay, I just added the tiniest bit, and I feel like that just really made me look a lot better. I'm trying to rush because I want to be able to post this before I go to school because I always post my get ready with me's after school because I just don't have time to edit them, but I'm trying to hurry so I can edit it and post it before school today. Okay, I'm literally so stressed because I have a drive with my driver instructor right after school, and then I have to study for my food safe test. Ow, I just clamped on my lid. I have to study for my food safe test and then also my science test. So, ow, I keep clamping down my eyelid. Okay, this is so random, but I'm reading this book right now called Never Never. And it's by like that Holleen person. Apparently she's like canceled or something, but her books are so good. Like, I'm sorry. I don't even know what she did because everyone's talking about it, but like I have no idea what is like the drama with her in one of my other videos i talked about how it was literally negative 50 degrees where i live and today it's actually only negative seven so like we're improving here i really want to wear this top but i feel like i'm going to be freezing because i like, keep our schools so cold like i don't know why but like our schools are always freezing i literally dropped my mascara wand in my hair and now there's mascara in my hair guys this is not what i needed this morning but i feel like it's on the bottom layer so like you really won't be able to tell it's it's fine to be completely honest with you guys i'm just way too lazy to wash it out so it's like you can't really tell okay why do i literally have a ginormous pimple right there that just appeared while i was doing my makeup i swear okay i'm just gonna set my makeup all in place final touches i'm just gonna do my tower 28 lip gloss and yeah that's it for the makeup i'm also going to show you guys my outfit because a lot of you guys asked for like ootds okay here's the outfit i have cargo sweats from garage this is from urban and then i think i might like i don't know i don't know anyways this i don't even know where i got this from christmas and then i don't know where i got my jewelry that's it bye guys ready me for school while i tell you reasons why i love having curly hair
Okay, guys, get ready with me for school. I literally just woke up and it's 6.40. But because I did heat this class, I'm letting my have, myself have more sleep. But I'm going to take my heat curls out first. Because if they haven't turned out right, then I can, like, I don't know, read, just look back my hair or something like that. So, I'm hoping they're good. Yeah, they look really good. Yeah, they, they work just as well as last time. Even better, to be honest. They look so cute. Um... I love them, but I need to put my hair back, but I've literally, I can only, f it's, oh my god, it's actually broken. Right, I'm going to have to use this, and then try and find another one. Right, this is what I'm going with, because I literally could not find any of my other clips, but I can't be bothered to go downstairs right now, so I'm just going to spare my face and cleanse it here. Oh my god, but my mum was so sweet, basically, she got me a present for hitting 300k on TikTok and 10k on YouTube. Basically, she got me the Glow Recipe Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. I literally could not believe it. And also, the Laneige Lip Mask in Pink Lemonade. I tried these both out last night, and they're so good. Anyways, I'm waffling. I need to actually start getting ready. But I'm not sure if I'm doing makeup again today or not. But anyways, um, I literally love Heatless Curls because it is just so much easier. And I don't know why my normal curly hair just takes so long to style. Right, I've got some music on now to wake me up a bit, but I've got English first period. Isn't that bad, but still. Oh, I'm going to take my spot patches off and see if they worked. They actually, I don't know on camera, it always looks like they didn't, but in real life, they did. Still can't believe how well my hair worked. Um, I'm using like the recipe do jobs now. I just realised I'm doing a full face of the recipe today. Okay, now I'm going to use my the recipe plump plump cream i'm gonna do a little unboxing um but this lip mask literally is so cool look at that i love it and then oh my god but i'm just gonna apply a bit of this right i'm just curling my lashes and then i'm gonna add some mascara okay this is what i'm doing for my face i'm gonna get in my school uniform and then show you my hair and perfume okay i'm now in my uniform and i'm gonna put some of this some Gennaro beige floor cream on my arms but my hair is really cute i'm probably gonna brush it out later okay and then now i'm gonna spray some side Gennaro 68 and it's literally 6:54, and i'm done i literally can get ready so much quicker now i love it i don't even know why it's, been, it's not like i'm in a rush but oh well bye guys hey princess get ready with me for the day it is 2024, which means you need to get up and go do something. Because I know we all set that little New Year's resolution, but it's not going to come to us overnight. I said that I wanted to be more consistent, like, when I'm posting my Get Ready Me's every day. I want to be more consistent, and I want to wake up more early and be productive. But all I'm saying is the only way that's going to work is if you actually get up and do something because i wanted to start waking up early and making more videos for you guys so it's january 1st 2024 and on december 31st 2023 i said that i want to wake up early and make more videos for you guys and what I, what did i do i sat down and i'm making a video for you guys and it is currently one o'clock i said i wanted to wake up at nine but i woke up at 12 but that's good because i'm making myself a little cycle so if you set yourself a little goal, whether it was to make a Get Ready With Me account, a Roblox account, an aesthetic account, to get up, go to the dishes, to get up, go exercise, anything like that, go do that. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to do it. You, it's not just gonna, you're not just going to wake up and you dream and be like, you're going to wake up today and you're going to be perfect. No, you got to get up and got to do something, okay? Like today, I'm going to get up and film all the content that i need to for like brands and stuff because i'm gonna do my lashes and then i need to film another content brand thingy whatever thingy my jiggy and then i'm gonna film that and i'm gonna post it and then we're gonna be all good to go and i'm gonna put in my drawers and i'm gonna have content for you guys and this is gonna be perfect right perfect just kidding nothing's perfect but this is day one 2024 and i'm gonna try posting every single day and if I muck it up, I muck it up. But whatever. It's okay if I just like miss one day. Like not in the year, but like, you know what I mean. You get what I'm on about. You know, you could even set 
New Year's resolutions on in January 1st. Like, no one said you can't, so... My New Year's resolution is to go to sleep more early because I want to sleep at 4 a.m. I feel like I have to go to sleep late, though, because that's how I function. Because if I go to sleep early and then I wake up, I can't function properly. I have to go to sleep late to be able to function the next, you know, yeah. That means it's getting bad. Some good old Vaseline can never hurt you. I also want to try to clear my skin up, like, by the end of this year. Now it's time to claim my word for this year. My word for this year is going to be sick, dude. Now it's time for lippy glossy. That's my word, actually. Forget about sick. Lippy glossy is my word, because lippy glossy makes me feel alive. I can have two words. Lippy glossy and sick, dude. Now I'm going to do my lashes. Yay! Ew, that was so bad. <sighs> and that's how you do it. But that is it for today's video. Love you guys so much. Bye, princess. Dame démaquillée. Pourquoi les Américains se plaignent des Français En fait, c'est quoi la différence entre les Américains et les Français Parce que depuis quelques jours de ma For You page, j'entends que les Américains se plaindent de Paris et de Lyon. Et je vais vous donner mon point de vue. Je pense que la principale différence entre le peuple américain et le peuple français, c'est l'hypocrisie des Américains. Ils sont très gentils en surface, genre même s'ils te connaissent pas et tout, euh, c'est pas forcément sincère, mais ils vont être très gentils, très souriants dans la rue. C'est hyper chaleureux. Ça, en fait, tu t'en aperçois vraiment quand tu vas en Amérique que c'est vrai. Tout ce qu'on dit, ils sont adorables. Genre les baristas dans les cafés, les gens que tu croises dans la rue euh, à qui tu vas demander la direction. Tout le monde est très gentil. Alors que les français un peu moins, enfin surtout les parisiens ou dans les grandes villes, on est moins sympa en surface. Genre la couche de glace, il faut la briser avant de voir la sympathie de quelqu'un. Enfin après je généralise pas mais euh, c'est en tout cas le point de vue euh, de tous les étrangers sur les français. C'est vrai qu'ils sont pas sympas, c'est juste qu'il y a cette euh, couche, on est un peu moins ouvert à la première vue. Et ça, ça choque les américains qui viennent en vacances à Paris surtout. Donc je pense que vraiment il serait temps de les prévenir que les parisiens sont pas tous hyper souriants. Et à juste titre, dans le sens où, moi, imaginons, genre, je sais pas, un mec qui vient me parler, genre, il vient me demander, ouais, c'est quoi la route et tout, je vais me méfier, je vais me dire, est-ce que c'est un mec chelou, tu vois, genre, je vais pas être directement hyper souriante, hyper avenante, tu vois. Donc, à juste titre, on est moins ouvert envers les inconnus. Donc, c'est ni une bonne, ni une mauvaise chose. En fait, c'est juste qu'on est, on a des coutumes qui sont différentes. Ensuite, euh, ils se font tous pickpocketer à Paris. Vraiment, je compte plus le nombre de vidéos que j'ai vues d'Américains qui racontent comment ils se sont fait voler plusieurs fois euh, à Paris. Alors ça, euh, c'est vrai, c'est un vrai truc. Mais il serait temps de prévenir les Américains que euh, ici c'est vrai, on se fait voler dans le métro, en sortant du métro, en entrant dans le métro. Euh, surtout à Paris, il y a vraiment beaucoup de pickpockets. Il faut juste fermer son sac et euh, garder, genre, keep your stuff tight. Genre, tu peux pas te balader le sac ouvert à euh, Porte la Chapelle et espérer revenir avec ton téléphone, genre. En attendant, nous, personne ne se balade avec une arme à feu. Genre, enfin, du moins, c'est très, très rare. Et ça, je pense que les vols, en vrai, c'est grave évitable. C'est juste qu'il faut se renseigner avant d'aller dans un pays. Euh, c'est vrai que Paris, c'est hyper touristique. Enfin, genre, tu vois, les pickpockets, ils le savent qu'il y a des proies faciles à voler. Notamment les Américains. Enfin, euh, c'est hyper connu que les Américains, ils se fassent voler. Mais justement, il faut euh, que les Américains se renseignent et soient au courant que, bon, bah, à Paris, c'est pas... Enfin, peut-être que c'est la ville de l'amour et tout, la ville de la mode. Mais surtout, il faut se balader, le sac fermé, rien dans les poches. Surtout quand tu prends le métro. Je pense que le problème, c'est qu'il faut juste Informer. Il faut s'informer qu'il y a des pickpockets, il faut s'informer que les gens sont un petit peu plus froids euh, à prime abord. Et ensuite, il y a un autre truc, c'est que beaucoup de Français ne parlent pas anglais. Et en fait, je sais pas pourquoi les Américains, ils croient que tout le monde parle anglais, alors qu'à Paris surtout, il y a vraiment beaucoup de gens qui ne parlent pas bien anglais. Quoique avec le temps, en ce moment, ça va mieux, genre on parle de plus en plus anglais, mais voilà, c'est un fait. Euh, les Français, il y en a plein qui parlent pas bien anglais. Et juste, il faut s'attendre à être mal compris parfois, genre tu vois, on peut rien y faire, c'est... La vie, il faut s'attendre à être mal compris. Comme moi, quand je vais aux États-Unis, je sais que bah, personne ne va parler français, tu vois. Peut-être parce que c'est une langue un peu plus pratiquée dans le monde et un peu plus internationale, ils s'attendent à être compris, mais genre, il faut juste qu'ils s'attendent à être mal compris et genre, c'est ok, il faut juste qu'ils soient armés et euh, qu'ils sachent euh, utiliser Google Traduction. En tout cas, moi j'adore aller aux États-Unis, je trouve que les gens sont très sympas et j'espère que maintenant ils seront mieux informés. Bye! Get ready, me, whilst I tell my bitches how to start social media. So first and always, just post. There's literally like no guide to start social media. Just start posting. So whatever your content or whatever you want to work on, 
post that so for example fashion post get dressed with me videos beauty post get ready with me videos and you're doing your makeup and stuff or singing videos post singing videos this year i have only just started get ready with me as well i think it was like november end of november december time i started get ready with me i never really did them but i did like hauls and stuff but it was kind of just like random content like i've always posted random content but now it is kind of like fashion and beauty whereas before it was just relatable videos and it wasn't really doing my account any good but one thing that you need to realize is that it's not going to happen overnight so whatever your videos are associated around so for example fashion if you keep posting them and posting them and posting them gradually you're going to build a following so don't be disheartened when you think oh my god that video is not done too well because as you gradually start posting people are going to be more loyal to you and follow you because they know that your content is associated to get ready with me and they want to see get ready with me when you start to reach a following based on what you are starting to post reach out to brands so a lot of my collaborations i've reached out to them like for example white fox i reached out to them skims well you kind of reach out to them and you won't hear back from them but you'll be on the radar so when it, a collaboration does come up they'll collaborate like girl this shit is what i'm talking about so do not hesitate to message them and be like hey i love your brand i would love to collaborate with you with via tiktok on a gifted basis to start with your collaborations will be gifted but eventually you'll start to do paid collaborations and brands will message you to pay you to do them um i've just joined a management so i've just got into all that shit you know what i mean get my money up but it's okay because there's a lot of brands on tiktok shop and you can request free samples and you can post them and you can get a commission if people buy from you i still do gifted work but i also do paid work now whereas before i just did gifted work i hope this video helps but if anyone's got any other questions just leave them in the comments and you know i reply to you get ready with me for school okay guys so Today is Tuesday only. Where's Wednesday? Tomorrow. But, um, yes, today, um, Wednesday, and I'm getting up for school. And I actually woke up kind of early today. I'm not lying. Like, 7.58, I, I would have been still in bed, I think. So, I Anyways, that was really loud. Um, so today it's school. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't got any dancing today, but I've got dancing tomorrow. Um, so at school, we're just doing basically the same things. That's what we do all the time, just do the same things. So yeah. So I do like reading. English and um, break. Then I do maths, lunch, and then we do whatever in the afternoon. Boring. We done art yesterday afternoon, and I actually really enjoyed it. I don't know what. I just I really enjoyed it because like my mom was like the best art piece ever. So that's good. I'm going to use my, don't mind it, all, all of it's coming off, is that just me? I think I should just get, it isn't only me, because this older girl on TikTok, she's like quite famous, she's famous. Um, her one's done it as well, because mine's done it. But I think about it, I'm just doing a little smoothie movie. And, guys, I've got a party on Mon um, on Friday, so stay tuned because I'll be making to get ready with me. Okay, yeah, okay. I don't like to leave this dirty. Just rub it on my hands. Okay, so I'm going to curl my eyelashes now. Because that's what I always do for school. I never used to, and I was like... Um, look really kind of bad when I did come on, I just got never mind.
got them now. Hey guys, that is it for today. Um, I'll put, might do a journey tonight, I'm not sure yet. That's it. Bye guys.